everybody, this is Praxis, and i got a couple of things I want to show you today, and one of them is right over here. Uh, we're working on getting in a shortwave radio antenna. I've got this board off the wall. Uh, presently, there is an FM antenna mounted to the uh, roof rafters up here. It runs down uh, under uh, this board here and goes into the kitchen. I want to get the shortwave uh, antenna doing kind of the same thing, where it comes in here and then goes into the kitchen. And also, I want to get both antennas so that they split and they go off over into the shelter. So if we were ever uh, needing to use the root cellar as a shelter, we'd have access to information that might be being broadcast through the airway. So that's a uh, project that's kind of ongoing. Right, right now, today, what I'm really focusing on is uh, getting this air filter in and working on some more shielding uh, for the root cellar. And we're going to be heading out there in just a moment. This is the air filter box. Uh, these uh, pipes are going to be set down in the ground. I think I'm going to be putting them into concrete in the bottom. Uh, it's probably going to be buried within like maybe two feet of the ground right there. Uh, the, the idea of getting it up, up off the ground as high as possible is there's going to be less dust that it's going to be sucking in if it's higher up off the ground. And also if it was like winter time, you know, you, if you have snow on the ground, um, you know, especially if there was a nuclear winter of some sort, uh, you know, you wouldn't want the snow coming up and burying the vents because the vents are on the bottom edge here. Uh, the filters go on these surfaces and these are the doors that hold the filters in place. The air comes uh, in through this little mesh material here, uh, goes through there, and then gets exposed to the uh, uh, the filters. And this, this just holds the whole thing on right there. It's one for each side. So uh, what we have is about 12 square inches of, of space in the four inch uh, pipe that is gonna go into the shelter and come into the house. And we have uh, these, these little strips here, uh, cumulatively on both sides, have almost 60 square inches of space to bring air in. So 60 square inches of space to bring air in, and then each tube has 12 square inches to draw down. So uh, that was important, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't create a limiting factor by having the air intakes be smaller than the, you know, the vent tubes themselves. So this is ongoing, I'm going to be working on that in a little bit. We got a lot of rain coming in, so uh, today I'm trying to focus on things that are outside. And uh, I'm going to bring you right up to the, uh, the root cellar itself. <sighs> okay, so this is a project that we're working on for the root cellar right now. Uh, it's trying to get the general height up. You can see a ring of stones there. I'm just going to set you down right here. Uh, you can see, I'm going to twist you a little bit. I know there's a nasty spot in this camera. I don't want that to be the important area. Uh, you can see there's a ring of stones right here. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm building kind of a retaining wall that'll be maybe about this high. It's going to come all the way around this side. This is the corner of the root cellar right there. It'll kind of come around here and kind of taper in over here. What that'll allow me to do is build up uh, the lump of earth up on top of this a little bit higher. The dirt I'm going to be using is over there. Beyond the ladders is kind of a little uh, pile of dirt over there. It was left over from construction. And I want to bring this up some number of inches. Specifically, this area here, this is where the bunks are. So uh, I'm thinking, you know, extra stones and things that I, I don't necessarily use for the wall. I think I'm going to be kind of laying them in in this area to create a little bit of extra shielding for an area where people are going to be, you know, for large periods of time if they were down in here using the bunks. So extra shielding in this area and bring the whole thing up. And, uh, I think I probably got about an hour today before the rain comes in. We're supposed to be getting some rain. It's just all rain lately. Uh, but uh, yeah, th that's the plan for today. Oh, incidentally, all the grass on top here I'm going to be preserving. I've got some of it right over here. All these little clods. I've got these sticks on top to kind of shade them. These are all just uh, clods of dirt with grass in them. So once I get this thing all rebuilt, uh, all these pieces of grass are going to be moved over there, you know, square by square and then brought back up here in order to just kind of repopulate the top surface with grass and greenery so that it doesn't wash away. And I'm going to fill in the cracks with some of the hay. that I, uh, There's a couple of hay bales right behind the uh, shed right there. So that's the plan. And, you know, maybe we've got an hour today before the rain comes in.